I'm Benva and today I will share with you my experience doing my six month internship that I did in Copenhagen. I worked for a company we call Novo Nordisk. It's a global health care company with more than 19 years of innovation and leadership in diabetes care. Then they employ around 42,000 people in 79 countries around the world and they market their pharmaceutical product in more than 170 countries. I did work in corporate procurement, which consists of 140 employees. Corporate procurement is responsible for billions of euros in indirect spend for the organization. The department is divided in different departments, providing various services ranging from sourcing, spend and savings analysis to support functions. Function during this internship, I was part of the procurement operation teams in the purchasing development department. I worked with project associates on several projects related to improved current processes in Novo Nordisk. Time with Novo Nordisk, I was assigned to the service model project. The idea behind this project, as for all projects running here in the department, was to find opportunities to improve a specific process. In this case, the goal of the project was to clarify roles and responsibilities regarding services that we offer in the purchasing development team in order to increase collaboration between different entities within corporate procurement but also outside the department. For example, with our around 7,000 Novo Nordisk internal customers. One of the key tasks was to elaborate a service portfolio that could describe as much as possible our core and operational services in order to ensure effective communication to our stakeholders. We did create a service model in order to define who was responsible, accountable, consultant or informed for every purchasing processes that we do. For every project that is driving in corporate procurement or in the organization in general, it's really important to keep in mind that there is no reason to start a project which will waste time and resources if it doesn't create any value or have an impact on the business. For these reasons, there is a strategy in corporate procurement to drive a project in the most efficient and effective way to ensure the expected business impact. As part of the strategy, before to start a project, it's really important to consider the ambition of the department. We want to have an impact on the operating profits, generate savings, and be part of the preferred business partners of the organization. A project is not all lifelong, and it can be really challenging in terms of deliverables, respect of deadlines, mapping of key business activities in corporate procurement. Targets and KPIs have to be defined early and on top of project at any time. From a management perspective, the most important aspect is not necessarily the resources allocated or the issues overcome on the way, but how the project will create value after implementation. This shows us that purchasing marketing, purchasing IT, purchasing operation or sourcing, we are all business drivers and we have the responsibility as purchaser to get profitable and positive impact on the organization for the decision taken. My name is Thomas Mishko and I'm the team lead for purchasing development, uh, responsible for the processes. Um, a project like this is basically to maximize uh, the value creation done in procurement, uh, taking the good work that is done in the sourcing uh, units and also giving input to that and making sure that it's actually brought out to the, uh, in the purchasing area and to the end users in the end using those contracts. My name is Tanya Nilsen. I work as a project associate in purchasing development. I work closely together with Alban, uh, who is an intern in our team. And we work on this project uh, where we try to maximize the value uh, of the sourcing team, what they do when they create a contract and how to actually use that contract for the end users. So how they do the purchase. There used to be a lot of silos in the different teams. so. The the thing we are trying to do is to create a better link between the sourcing team and the purchasing team to actually maximize the value of the contract and make sure that they get used by the end users. There are different ways to ensure effective follow-up and measurable impact on the business. It is hard to observe the impact from one day to another, but KPIs can be measured over time. For measuring a project success, we can use a yearly balance scorecard available for a department where all the KPIs and targets are set. For example, it can be accounting for customer satisfaction that we can measure after discussion with our different stakeholders in order to benchmark the project acceptance and impact. Or it can also be that we measure the achieved savings as a direct result of the process optimization. So, the key takeaway of my internship are the challenges associated to change management. It is, I think, of the utmost importance 
to be able to adapt and overcome such challenges by providing solutions that are not out of the box without losing track of the original set goals. Then I also learned a lot about myself and how to deal uh, with tricky situations. And I think that another point that it's really, really um, contributes to my own development is that it is in no one this culture to encourage people to come up with new solutions to work-related problems. Plus, different opinions and ideas are openly shared and discussed in reaching decisions, which is, I think, um, absolutely. And finally, I would like to say a big thank you to all the people that I had the chance to meet and to work with here at Novo Nordis, as they are absolutely brilliant people. Basically, they really strive for excellence, and I could take advantage of their years of experience, and I'm so glad that they share it with me. So I will for sure use all the things I learned here in the future, but also in my future career.